there are quite a lot of options when it comes to finding the right tambourine and like nailing your setup. So in today's video, I wanna go through a couple of different options that are out there, share factors that I consider when I've been buying tambourines uh, for myself or for projects in the hopes that maybe this process becomes a bit easier for you. Looking at various different options for both the drum and the stick, comparing the options across a couple of different categories like weight, feel, sound, and budget. If you've been following my work for a while, you might be familiar that I have a preference of uh, a three prong stick and a contemporanea uh, smooth aluminium tambourine. However, there are a lot more options than that. So let's just go through the different types of shell first and then we'll look onto sticks in a bit. There's kind of three or four options in terms of what the shell of the tambourine that you're getting is. We've got wood, metal, plastic. The shell itself doesn't really impact the sound all that much. However, it's really important for getting the right weight, feel, and it will impact your budget. First of all, let's look at wooden shells. I personally don't actually own a wooden one, so I'm borrowing this one for the video. I find they're just a little bit too heavy um, to play like cajitero for hours, you know, turning in the samba. Um, but I think they're beautiful. They definitely are a bit heavier than the metal ones, but they feel really nice. So if you're not doing a lot of turning, a wooden shell might be the right option. They usually come in at a similar price point to the metal ones. This drum, it would be really nice with like a natural hide head to play Telecoteco in like Pagodji Meza, Horiji Samba situations. Before we continue, hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a percussionist based in Glasgow, specializing in Brazilian music. If you're enjoying the video, please check out other ones on the channel. And if you want more free goodies, then check out the resources page on my website. Up next, we're looking at plastic. So various brands like Contemporanea, Iso, uh, make these plastic frame tambourines. It's made from ABS, which is like the same material that Lego's made out of, I think. I really like them for budget purposes. So like I've got a lot of these for workshops that I teach. So if you're bulk buying and have a tight budget, definitely go with plastic, I think. These are quite a bit lighter than the metal and wooden ones. For instance, this one from Contemporanea comes in at 306 grams which is way lighter than the wooden one. However, when it comes to feel, I, I, yeah, I really don't like them. Um, I don't like the feel of the plastic. I think the, the actual shell itself is a bit narrower than say the wooden ones. Um, so it's almost a little bit too small for me to play in some ways. It's not got a lot of grip. It's actually quite slidey. I think I got this for 20 pounds sterling and obviously like buying a lot of them was really good. The first time I ever bought a tambourine to see if I would actually practice and like maybe like it and get into it, I bought a plastic one. Um, so it's a really good entry level instrument that means that you're not investing lots of money into it. You wanna see if you wanna practice a bit first and use it before you then upgrade. I think this is a really good option for that. As well as running workshops. So I've got like eight of these plastic ones so that people in workshops can play tambourine. They're really robust and actually quite easy to fix. Um, like I had one that fell or was dropped or something and the actual shell cracked and I just used super glue and it went back to normal, no problem. Works, just brand new. Whereas if something breaks to a wooden one or the metal ones, which shouldn't happen as often, um, it's harder to fix that. Last but not least in terms of the shell of the drum and the drum itself, we've got metal. Now the reason I said there's three or four options is because there's actually two options a lot of the time with these brands. We have normal aluminium, like I showed earlier, where it's smooth. And we've also got one that I've seen referred to as frizado, um, which translates roughly as like beaded. Um, I'll do some B-roll and close-ups of these as well. So I'm gonna talk about both of them separately, almost as though they're their own thing. Many people swear by the frisado feel and the grip it gives you, but I, tambourine is not my first instrument, so I've not played a, as much of it as some of those people who say that, so I've not noticed that difference, personally. I've played tambourine here in Scotland where it rains at most of our gigs, so I've not felt like the tambourine's gonna fly out my hand from the rain, as an example. It's also worth noting that different brands approach frisado differently. So like, I've got this one here from Yvesome, um, or a brand in Rio. They approached the Frisado, at least when I bought this back in 2017, 
it's it's really like corrugated iron there's lots of little bumps whereas uh, King Instrumentals Musicais also from Rio have just a couple of little bumps and I kind of prefer that one because I feel I found that with the Eve Song one I was coming away from playing for a little while my skin would just be like imprinted on the drum like I would just have all these little bumps in my thumb and pinky from when I was holding the drum in terms of weight the metal ones are all similar like regardless of whether you go for a smooth aluminium one um, there's not much to say about this you can't really go wrong with a metal tambourine it's why in all of the scholarship sambas in Brazil they pretty much only use the metal ones it's kind of just the standard I was about to say in terms of weight these are all like quite similar but surprisingly the contemporaneo one and the king one came in at about 312, 313, 314 grams. The Evesome one, interestingly enough, came in at 364 grams, which is almost as heavy as the wooden one. Um, that blew my mind in the making of this video. Um, so in terms of weight, plastic is, is superior. It's the lightest, so it means you can play the longest, in theory. In terms of feel, I personally prefer the smooth aluminium that's my preference. Sound doesn't really have a massive impact from the drum itself. In terms of budget, your best bet is the plastic one if you're on a really tight budget. If you've got like cash to spend and you, you're one to invest, then I would definitely go for a metal one just because they're the standard. Unless you're playing Pagogi, in which case a wooden one will do you fine. Now on to the part that will make the biggest difference to your experience playing on the tambourine and the hardest thing to get right. The sticks. Right here I've got six options that I have in my arsenal. I've got two that I use all the time and the rest were experiments and were purchased to give people at workshops. The main difference between all these sticks is the amount of prongs you've got, the amount of plastic bits you've got. So it can range from one, just a single prong. This stick is the prong itself. Up to a seven prong tambourim stick. I've even seen a nine prong tambourim stick once. The way I like to think about the prongs on the tambourim baqueta is if you've the, the more prongs you've got, like they kind of wetter the sound. It might be a little bit esoteric. Um, and the, the if you've only got a one prong tambourim, it's gonna have a really dry, crisp, sharp sound. Best way to like really understand what I mean by that difference is if you watch like a video from Monoblocko playing the show where they only use single prong baquetas and compare that to say an Escolage Samba where they'll have multiple players using like three to five prong tambourine baquetas. With many tambourines when you buy them brand new they tend to come with a stick that looks like this. I'm I'm hiding the, the brand because a lot of brands do this. They give you a stick that looks like this. I don't know anybody that uses this for tambourine. They make a really great bacallion stick for the Zabumba, the kind of bottom stick. So that's what I use these for. Um, I don't know anyone who uses these for tambourine at all. Um, I wish they would stop making them, <laughs> personally. But most brands will give you a stick like this. It's really important to get the right feel of the stick. So I would suggest, if you can, try out different ones before you buy anything. Um, so if you're in a local samba band, try them out there. If you're in Brazil, give a try of various sticks in different shops. Reason being is depending on the manufacturer and who makes the sticks, they could be different lengths and different weights depending on their process. So for instance, I've got this three prong baqueta. This is my preferred choice. And it's also the preferred choice of a lot of Escolage Samba tambourine directors. This is my seven prong baqueta. And just looking at the difference in terms of length and also just the width of the stick, so the seven prong baqueta is heavier. The more prongs you've got, the heavier the stick is. So that's something to consider. The reason three is uh, the preferred option in Scalogia Sambas is because it's light enough that you can play for a long time and it's not a burden, as well as the fact that the three prongs just give a particular sound when there's a lot of people playing with it. You won't notice necessarily if one or two people are using another one but you notice when all the tambourines are using the same stick, that's more of a the thing to watch out for. Oops, 
have rules like monoblocco about the the bacchetta they use in the tambourine section so that they can get a really consistent sound in terms of like finding the right length of stick it'll vary a little bit but you don't want it to be too short i think longer is a little bit better um you kind of want to be able to have your arm in a comfortable playing position where you're not super close to the drum and you're not super far away from the drum either so it's worth just experimenting with things and trying out sticks if you can. Obviously, if you're not anywhere near these places and you're ordering online, then I guess keep the receipt, maybe return it. <laughs> I hope this video has been useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got any thoughts. What is your favorite type of tambourine setup? Um, do you have a preferred brand? Do you go to a specific person for your tambourine sticks? Let me know.